why now, David, for uh, John Robinson uh, to be let go by Amy Adams Strunk? Does the timing of this move uh, surprise you at all? Yeah, I I mean, in season, it absolutely does surprise me. And and, and, I mean, let's be honest, there's... uh, I mean, there's there's reasons for concern about John Robinson's job performance, right? I mean, outside of Christian Fulton, you've gotten very little from the 2020 and 2021 draft classes. You know, the Isaiah Wilson thing was a debacle. Julio Jones didn't work out the way you wanted. Debian Clowney didn't work out the way you wanted. I mean, you can go down the list. They're you know they're all pretty obvious. But you can also look at John Robinson's record. And no losing seasons in, in four playoff berths in the last five years. It's going to be five out of six. They're going to win their third straight division title, so on and so on. And, and you would say, well, clearly this guy deserves the opportunity to fix whatever problems he's created. So, so then you, you start to say, okay, what is at issue here with the timing? And, and I, I can't believe that it's coincidental that this happens two days after they go to Philadelphia and AJ Brown does the things that AJ Brown used to do for this team. Uh, you know, I mean, you look at Amy Adams Strunk's track record as owner, which is, which is relatively short, right? It, it, or as controlling owner, it goes back to, to 2015, but, uh, but she does not like to be embarrassed and, and seven games into the 2015 season, uh, the Titans go to Houston. Oh, by the way, that's her hometown, and they get beat twenty to six. Their quarterback Zach Mettenberger gets Oof. sacked seven times, gets hit sixteen times. They, uh, I mean, they just looked completely non-competitive that day. And the next day, head coach Ken Wisenhunt gets fired. You go ahead to the twenty sixteen season. Four weeks into that one, you go back down to Houston, Amy Adams Strunk's hometown. They lose a game to the Texans when they give up a punt return for a touchdown late in the fourth quarter in a game that they'd already had a punt blocked that the that a referee's call bailed them out on. And and earlier in the second quarter, they they stopped Houston on a fourth and twenty three, forced them to punt, but they had twelve men on the field. The extra five yards allows Houston to kick a field goal and, and put three points on the board there. The day after that, Mike Malarkey is told you need to fire special teams coach Bobby April. Um, you know, this is this is fairly consistent with uh, with with what uh, we've seen from Amy Adams Strunk. And, you know, everybody in the organization likes to refer to her as Miss Amy, you know, kind of this <laughs> team mom sort of persona or whatnot, which I think does her a real disservice. Right. She's she's really accomplished in business. It's It's clear she has uh, very strong opinions uh, about what she wants and expects from the people who work for her and uh and if and if she's not getting what she wants she is not afraid to uh to make decisions that are that are uncomfortable 